everybody and welcome to my July favorites video. So first off I'm going to start with beauty products. I have been loving some great products in the month of July, especially with how hot it's been here in Kansas, and so I'm going to share some of my favorites with you. So you can't have summer without having bronzer, especially this summer. It seems like everybody's going for that really bronze look this summer, and I'm here to show you my favorite. So here we have the Baked Bronzer from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics in the color Heat Wave. I received this in my Ipsy bag, I think it was back in the winter actually, but I'm one of those weirdos who like a lot of matte shades in the winter and then go to really shiny even in the summer, even though I sweat a lot in the summer. I'm one of those people. So for the summer, I've really been loving this shade. Um, it's really subtle. I'm not one of those people who like super tons of shine because I do sweat a lot in the summer, especially on my face. So I really like something just really, really subtle and I've been loving this. So I got it in my Ipsy bag back in the winter, but I have been using it the whole month of July and I've been loving it. I use it every day that I wear makeup and like I said, it's very subtle. Um, unfortunately, mine is broken, um, but still to the point where I can still use it and um, it's been great. So the next product I want to talk about is this nail polish that I've worn literally the entire month of July. And since it is now August, of course I don't have that shade on. I am wearing a new one from Ipsy, which I will probably talk about in another video. But I really want to talk about this. It has been the perfect, perfect nude nail for the summer. I don't know, I am normally a color person, I have so many nail polishes, but I have literally been wearing nude all summer. All summer. So I actually got this back in December right before I went on my trip to Florida in January because I really wanted a nude color for my nails so that I could wear different outfits but still my nails would match everything. So this is CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant in the color Forever Fun. This has been great. Uh, I'm definitely going to repurchase this. So last in my beauty products, I just want to share with you what I'm wearing on my lips, which has been my go-to for almost the whole month of July, and it is the combination of the NYX Lip Liner in Natural, which is kind of a pinky neutrally color, and I've actually worn this for a long time before I got the other item, but just by itself or underneath um, a couple of other colors I have. And then over it, I've been wearing NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. I actually got another um, shade of the liquid um, suede in my Ipsy bag, but it was kind of like a pinky fuchsia color, which so does not go with my skin tone. So it's actually still sitting in my drawer, and I'll probably gift it to a friend of mine. But this has been the perfect nude. I've tried other nudes, and they really like make me look crazy, and like my lips aren't there, and I, all I have is a face with no lips. It's really weird. And I'll probably even wear it through the fall because I was thinking how beautiful it would look with all my dark reds and dark blue jeans and boots and it'd be really, really pretty. So, but it's been a really good go-to for the summer. You guys should check it out. If you haven't yet, do it. Everybody's talking about this. Do it. So now I'm going to move on to face products. So I typically use an all-natural way to clean my face with these face cloths that I have that have no product in them. Um, but afterwards, lately in the summer, I get broken out because I am sweating extra. So I've been adding on an extra regimen during the summer just um, so that I don't break out as much with all the sweat. So I love First Aid Beauty. I've actually been using them since January when I had a haul from Sephora. and. I just like them. I have really, really, really sensitive skin. And so a lot of things bother my skin, even ones that say that they're all natural and stuff, I still have a lot of issues. I have yet to have any issues with any first aid beauty products, although these are the only ones that I've tried so far. So I'm gonna start with this first. This is the Facial Radiance Pads. They exfoliate, tone, and brighten. They are alcohol-free and safe for sensitive skin. I am loving this product because of that. So I just got a little sample pack of these. I have 10 of them to try, and I've been using them for the last week and a half. And they're great. I've been using them in the morning, and they just... It makes my skin feel really good before I start putting my moisturizer and my makeup on. And I just really like them. I'll actually probably repurchase these when the time comes. Next, I want to talk about my cleanser. So I actually only use this face cleanser in the mornings. I don't at night just because I find that my face dries out a lot more at night because I'm not wearing a lot of cream and makeup. I just use this in the mornings before I put my makeup on. So it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. And again, it is safe for sensitive skin. So the last thing I want to talk about in my first aid beauty 
line is the 5-in-1 face cream with the Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this has been really good for the summer. Although I had it in the winter, I was using it morning and night. Now in the summer, I only use it in the morning before I go out. I think it's good just because it's got the SPF in it. I really need that during the summer. I like the smell of it. It's a very light scent. So you guys can check it out. So the last thing I want to talk about in my face products is this. It's the Micellar Cleansing Water from Jean-Pierre. I picked this up when the waiting line at Ulta. Uh, everybody's been talking about Micellar water and I was like, oh god, just another product to add to my cabinets that I'll use a couple times and then never touch again. So I tr got this little bottle because I was like, ah, oh, I can try it out. It's only three, four fifty. Then I won't be stuck with a big bottle if I don't like it. So I've been using this at night after I use those fancy cleansing cloths that I'll tell you guys about probably in another video. I use this afterwards and it still gets dirt off. I'm so surprised and I'm really liking it so I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and repurchase this same brand in a bigger bottle. So next is my hair products. I love Lush. I've never ever had a Lush product break me out and a lot of the smells I really like. They're those kind of really light natural smells although my husband says he thinks everything smells the same in there. I switch my scents a lot during the year but in the summer I really like light scents because you know you're sweating a lot you don't want that to mix with sweat and it kind of gets weird smell so I've really been liking this happy hippie shower gel it's really light I think it's one of their original smells and again it's just it's got that nice morning smell with grapefruit and it's just really light I know I keep saying that word but it is so the shampoo I'm using right now is rehab because I sweat a lot during the summer and I only wash my hair maybe once a week um, those oils start to build up on your hair and then with using a dry shampoo in the summer more it gets really dry and then you're adding more and more product to your hair so this rehab is really good it reinvigorates your scalp it has seaweed and essential oils in it and it really just invigorates your hair as well as stripping all of that stuff out if I wash my hair more than once a week I would definitely use something a little calmer but this gets all that nastiness out after a whole week or even a little longer of not washing my hair so my last hair product is vegan this is my hair conditioner that I've been loving. I don't use a lot of hair conditioner, especially since I chop my hair a lot shorter. And again, because it's summer, my hair is not as dry as it normally is in the winter. This is a really light conditioner. It has the lemon and seaweed in it for shine as well. And it makes my hair just look really healthy, but again, doesn't make it so soft that I can't style it in the morning. So my last shower item from Lush is the Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. And I love this stuff. Now I've been purchasing this since last year and I use this all year round. So it actually has real strawberries in it and it makes your whole shower smell like strawberries after you get out and it makes your legs smell like it too all day. So last but not least um, is my clothing favorite of July. So it's bralettes. Holy crap you guys. I've never been able to wear them. I've always been bigger chested and it's been harder trying to find some that actually fit me and actually feel comfortable and look good too. So until about last year, um, I didn't find any that looked good until I went to Aerie and I've just been adding to my collection since then and I'm telling you they are, have been a lifesaver in this hot weather because there's not all that padding in between and I like the feel of being a little more natural. I'd actually go braless if I worked in a profession where I could. Unfortunately, I work in a little more of a professional environment and the clothes I wear just won't allow for that. All the ones I get are lace just because I like that kind of girly feel still um, and not the kind of sportsy bra look all the time. I've kind of gotten different styles in the same style and other colors and all sorts of stuff. Currently I think this one is my all-time favorite. It's this really pretty periwinkle blue and the, cu and the way it's cut is great. It's really low cut in the front and in the back. It looks really pretty, especially with a couple of the dresses I've been wearing this summer because I've been wearing dresses every day during the work week because it's been so hot. And sometimes it just peeks through the edges and it looks really pretty, especially with like a black or even this dark kind of maroon color I have. It looks so pretty peeking out. So I really just thought I'd share that with you guys. Go to Aerie. They've been having a lot of sales lately. I'm actually going to hit them up again soon because I've got a little discount card that I'm going to use and go in there and buy a few more, especially because I've got a couple of trips coming up and I really want to stock up and get a couple more. So that's it, you guys. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or ideas. Um, that would be great. Also, subscribe, like my stuff below, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter down below. I'll be filming a makeup tutorial on this look this weekend, and it should be going up by Saturday or Sunday at the latest. So I want you guys to tune in for that. 
please let me know what else you guys want to see. I'm going to be showing a lot of different things in this channel, uh, especially Harry Potter. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like my religion. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to Amanda Fritz. I met her the other night at the Cursed Child Midnight release party, and she's another local YouTuber here in Kansas City and really focuses her channel on showing the next generation of kids books and making them fall in love with it. She made a shout out to me on her other video that she posted from the release party, and I really just wanted to say thank you, and um, everybody go check out her channel because it's really awesome. Thanks so much, guys. See you later.